Good day guys, so welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be talking about the top 10 most powerful kings in Nigeria. In ancient times, before the British colonization of Nigeria, there were powerful kings in Nigeria who were seen as demigods, who were said to have great influence and control over their subject and on the people they rule. In modern times, the powers of these kings have been declined due to the emergency of the federal system government operating in Nigeria. Nevertheless, there are still some of these kings whose influence cannot be underestimated and are respected due to their heritage and the tradition from their immemorial. So guys, in this video, we'll be highlighting the top 10 most powerful kings in Nigeria. Please, if you are new to my channel, can you subscribe? But don't forget to hit the notification bell icon for more videos. Number 10 is Olu Badan of Ibadan. Olu Badan means Lord of Ibadan and was head by late Samuel Olu Anna Odugade, who died at the age of 101 years. The current Olu Badan of Ibadan is Oba Saliu Adentuji and he is also late. Ibadan is also an ancient kingdom. This Olu Badan of Ibadan is one of the most powerful kings that we have in Nigeria. Number 9 is Obi of Onisha. Also, on the current top 10 most powerful kings in Nigeria is Igwe Nanyelugo Alfred Nemeka Nchebe, a very influential monarch in Nigeria and he is currently the traditional ruler and the OB of Onisha people. When it comes to issues concerning the southeastern part of Nigeria, he is the most likely to be first consulted, which ranks him among the most powerful kings in Nigeria. Number 8 is Olu of Wari. The Olu of Wari is another first-class king that we have in Nigeria. He is the leader of Iteskiri people. The Wari Kingdom is currently ruled by a popular Nigerian lawyer who had had several positions in Wari, and his name is Godwin Toju Emiko. Wari is located in Delta State. This Olu of Wari is one of the most powerful kings that we have in Nigeria. Number 7 is Oba of Lagos. He is also referred as to the Eliko of Eko, Oba Rewan Babatunde Oshulale Ameru Akiolu is the current Oba of Lagos State and he is also an influential king that we have in Nigeria. Lagos State itself was the former capital territory of Nigeria and also currently the most populated city that we have in Nigeria. Number 6 is the Oba of Benin. He is also referred as the Omanoba and the ruler of the Benin Kingdom. The power of this traditional ruler is seen as the supreme as the ancient kingdom of Benin dates back even before the colonial master settled in Nigeria. The current Oba of Benin is Oba Eure II, Odigigan Uku Obapolo, who succeeded his late father Oba Eri Adwa. This Oba of Benin was very powerful to the extent that when Queen Elizabeth II came to Nigeria in 1990s, some kings were bowing down to her in a way of greeting and appreciating his visit to Nigeria. But this Oba of Benin refused to bow down to greet this very particular woman, saying that he cannot bow down to worship any woman in the name of greeting. And this made this man to be one of the most powerful kings that we have in Nigeria. Number 5 is the Dean of Abo. History has made it that the Dean of Abo became a king at just four months old, which makes him the youngest king to ever ascend a royal throne in Nigeria. King Benjamin Ikechuku is currently the Dean of Abo, or officer in the Order of Crown, as it is popularly called. This king of Abo was crowned because for many years this kingdom lived without any king 
And when this child was giving birth to, their gods told them that this child will be their king. And in foremost old, they have no other option than to crown that king of Ebo, and he became their king. Number four is the irony of Ife. The current irony of Elife is Oba Ogunwesi, and he is the paramount ruler of Ife dynasty. It is said that he plays a strong role in the choosing of Oshun state governor. This is to tell you that this king is still functioning in Oshun state and he is also one of the first class king that we have in Nigeria because without him appointing somebody that will rule as governor in Oshun state, the person cannot rule no matter the political party that you belong or that you are coming from. Number three is the Alafin of Oyo. The Alafin of Oyo is seen as one of the most powerful kings in Nigeria because of the culture, heritage and history of the old Oyo Empire which dates back to the pre-colonial era in Nigeria. According to the legend, the Alafin of Oyo weighed such sovereign authority and was seen as God to the Yoruba people. The current Alafin of Oyo is Lamidi Olaiwole de Tre, who succeeded Alafin Bagidese Olu Bolu the Second. It was said that the Yoruba people seen this king as God because they fear him due to the way this king used to behave and due to how he used to pass judgment on any case that is being bring to him. And also, when the white people colonized Nigeria, they were unable to convince this king in order to succumb to what they want to do to Nigeria. Number two is the Emir of Kano. Mala Muhammad Sanusi II was the former Emir of Kano and he was removed by the governor of Kano state recently. Sanusi was formerly the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria and he was made Emir after the death of Alahaji Dr. Ado Brayo who ruled for 51 years. The current Emir of Kano is His Royal Highness Aminu Ado Brayo. Number one and the most powerful kings we have in Nigeria is the Sultan of Sokoto. The Sultan position in Nigeria dates back to the pre-colonial era and is one that has a lot of influence especially for the Muslims. He is not just seen as a monarch but the spiritual leader for the Muslims in Nigeria. Currently, Sultan Mohammed Saad Abubakar IV is presently the Sultan of Sokoto and a first class king in Nigeria. And he succeeded his brother who died in a plane crash, the ADC airline flight that has 53 passengers to be precise. Okay guys, these are the most powerful kings that we have in Nigeria. Please, if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe, but don't forget to leave comments at the comment section.